Almadron! Almadron, where are you? Almadron, you're so cool, please! Almadron! Where are you? I don't understand. Oh, Bulfango, sir! Sir, have you seen? Have you seen Almadron? Almadron, anywhere? Almadron, I need him! Well, Almadron, oh Jesus Christ, oh my god, goodbye! <laughs> Why can't I find Almadron? What's the point in even going over all the monsters if I can't do it next to Almadron? Anyway, hello and welcome back to a new Rage Gaming video. My name is Hollow, and today we're talking more monsters. We just got that latest trailer via the Nintendo Direct this week, and God, somehow we're still being shocked and surprised by new features coming to the game. Even when it's the fourth trailer, we've had a chance to play the game ourselves with that demo. It's still impressive that they can build hype at this point. Now, with that trailer and the monsters revealed inside of it, we have a confirmed roster of over 50 plus monsters in Rise already, with more surely to be revealed in the full game. Let's start with the new monsters and creatures revealed in trailer 4 to get us going, which does perfectly start with a look at that new desert terrain of the sandy plains and hey, a screaming Diablos. This returning monster will be one that will certainly chase back and forth and I do wonder as well if we'll see a black Diablos in game 2. But more importantly, in the second revealed region of the lava caverns, we finally see the Rachna Kadaki. Yes, that web spider type that we've seen previously in tiny clips of the past but now we get a real look at the fire spider. It's another Temnosiron, which are very unarachnid in nature, basically spider types. And this one is very comparable to Nerzilla, who, while not confirmed yet, could be considered implied since we do have this spider type. But anyway, it is looking very scary with those sicky web attacks. Or that fire breath, which will finish off this hunter who's stuck. Strangely, it also fires out a type of lava as part of its attacks, which spawn in small spiders to attack you. These are actually officially known as the Rachnoid. These are working in unison with Rachna to catch prey. So officially, we are fighting her spider babies. That's horrifying. Next up though, returning and at no surprise, we have the Basiros, who we knew was coming back due to the hunting horn armor in the demo. This old time monster returning from earlier gens is appearing in the lava caverns as well. Covered in its stony skin and rock encrusted back, maybe you'll want to bring a pickaxe. Up next, confirming our speculation from last time, yes, the Volvodon is back, which completes our trio of Azuros, Legombi, and Volvodon as expected. It's another fang beast with an armadillo vibe with its rolling around in ball form. Covered in red scales, it stands out from the other two. But also, it has that lashing tongue and poison effects to look out for. So, that's another one we can expect in the Lava Cavern. But now it's time for an entirely new monster. We're talking... Almadron, an entirely new Leviathan revealed for Rise, which was pretty unexpected at this point. Apparently, according to the official lore, it normally hides deep in mountains, but it's been attacking humans recently, maybe due to that rampage. We're going to see lots of mud-based attacks, or even a way to defend itself where it covers itself in that goop. Additionally, it's able to ooze out a golden fluid from its tail, which can apparently dissolve the ground, which is ideal for trapping prey, or creating those huge mud pillars mid-combat. This monster looks like no joke. I'm very much looking forward to fighting it. It's like a mud bender or something. Rather suddenly though, as we go into that rampage section, not only did we see four monsters in one battle or multiple of one monster at once, but also the surprise reveal of Rajang. The mad monkey is back and quickly shown in a wyvern ride being used against the other monsters and yeah, actually using that crazy energy beam blast, which has insane range. Definitely going to be an interesting one to fight in Rise since, you know, Rajang is very mobile, but in Rise we actually are too. Lastly though for this trailer another surprise reveal I should mention is the apex version of monsters which are officially coming to rise clearly part of the whole rampage mechanic. Our first look at this new monster type in this apex mode is Azuros. We don't quite know a lot of details about this right now but it certainly appears to be the monster that's pushing the horde at these human settlements part of the reason they're rampaging. We're told that we can expect more information about apex monsters soon probably before the release of the game but we do know that the apex versions of these monsters have way more strength than the regular species. That's the big monsters from trailer 4, but there's actually a few small creatures to mention too. The Delex, which are being cooked at the very beginning here, the poor things. The Renoplos down by the tree where we're looking upon the lava caverns. And also, there was a tiny glimpse of the Jaggy and Jaggier that have been spotted, which could also imply the Great Jaggy from 3rd gen. Something like 11 monsters and creatures to talk about there, if we also consider the apex as well and in itself 
apex monsters are a new thing on top of all of that. Quite a lot of monsters and creatures to talk about, but that's not all we're getting for Rise. The rest of the things that we already know about that have been confirmed or spotted, let's go through the list of those. From our first trailer, we had Toby being eaten by Magna. We had Aknesom, that crane type, the great Izuchi, and also Azuros, yes, the bear. Big boy Tetrodon came in the first trailer, and also, yeah, Magna Malo himself, the flagship monster for Rise. This trailer was actually where we first got our tiny glimpse of Rack way back, so it's finally good to have a name and a real look at that monster. In our second trailer, we had more monsters revealed, including some new myth-based monsters. This is where we saw the Somnacanth and also the Bishatan from the Mermaid Myths and Demonic Tengu Myths. This is also where we saw the return of the Royal Ludroth, another Leviathan type, which we're seeing lots of in Rise. We had a bit of a glimpse of the Great Baggy, and also Kezu here was revealed with its awful, awful scream, the Great Roggy. So yeah, we can really expect a lot of great versions of Monsters and Rise. Plus, the duo of Rathalos and Rathian are back, as to be expected. To mention a few smaller creatures from these trailers, actually, we should say that we've seen the smaller Izuchi, right? Also the Jagras in the demo, but also Kelby Goats, Bulfango Boars, the Chonky Guaga, or the insect types of the Banahabra or the Ant-like Alteroth. Also, creatures like the Slagtoth were seen in the trailer, Roggy and Baggy, obviously, the to go with the Royal Ludroth naturally, and the Guaja Fish are all confirmed so far from those two trailers. Not long before Trailer 3 came, confirming more monsters, we had this sort of set of weapon showcases which featured armor sets we hadn't seen and weapons too, right? But also monsters being hunted returning to the series. An interesting way to reveal some monsters. Here we saw Anjanath who's back. We had Kulu the big chicken. QK is going to slap you with its tongue again. And also, yes, even Juratodus is back. God help us. I don't know about you, but when it comes to the Basin fish types, I can definitely go without them. Anyway, back to the trailers. We have the third trailer set of Creatures and Monsters. This is the last set to talk about. From the start of the trailer, we had Goss Harag revealed, finally showing us where that incredible armor set from the Great Sword came from in the demo. This huge monster with its personal ice blade looks incredible and is probably my favorite of the new monsters revealed so far for Rise. We also had a few returning monsters like the Lagombi, one of the trio from the bear set we mentioned earlier. This one being a bit more like a rabbit who just happens to like to for our snow. Or the Tigrex, who was our showcase for the new Wyvern ride mechanic, which was revealed in this trailer. During that mount, we also had the reveal of Baryoth, who is returning too, who we've now seen a little bit more of in that IGN hunting gameplay I made a video about recently. Speaking of lots of Leviathans in Rise, though, at the end of the trailer, we saw the return of Mizutsune, who of course was our main monster to hunt during the demo. Such a pretty monster, and arguably one of my favorites throughout the whole series. The armor sets and the weapons we've now had a look at as well. I'm really looking forward to collecting some of those. And then we also have a few creatures to mention from that trailer, like the Anteca, basically the Chad Kelby. And of course, the wonderful Popo are back. These are creatures we should protect. Oh, and there was even Remobra, who was shown at the start of the trailer, just hanging around that big island. Something I was also able to do while we had the demo was to check the hunter notes for the small creature list, which gives us a little bit more insight on what else we could find in that demo, like the Feline and Melinx, which are basically wild palico. They had their own little camp on top of the hill by the bottom right of the map. And there's also the Bombaji, who are very useful when it comes to knocking into monsters for their blast effect. One other small creature we should mention is from that IGN gameplay I mentioned, we saw some Zamites, which are like the small sharks that were found in the Frost Island region. That is everything from the four trailers though, the showcases and the demo, but on top of all of that, we have some implied monsters that I should add. The Great Jagras might come back, for example, as we've seen many great versions of the other monsters that we've already seen. And obviously, we have spotted some small Jagras throughout the demo and many trailers. The Frog Boy, the Tetsukabra, might be back in Rise 2, since we did see the guild leader in Kimura riding a baby one as a mount. So hopefully that means we get some Tetsu back out there again. We also spotted a couple of weapons that look like they could belong to Gobel, that fish type. So maybe we'll see that one again. One thing that I mentioned before as well with Mizutsune back is how I'm hoping that the other of the Fated Four, like Gamoth, Glavinus, and Asolos will come back. The problem with this theory is that Glavinus was in world, right? While the others were certainly not. But I definitely do think the four would fit in Rise. So hopefully. One that you guys were mentioning last time is how it seems like Zinoga might be back as well. This is due to the trainer in that demo 
wearing this half Kimura set with little bits of what appear to be Zinogarama. That doesn't exactly confirm it, but it does make you think. In that trailer 3, in the Frost Islands, there is this just big ass skull of Zora just chilling right there in the middle. This one doesn't exactly mean that we're going to be fighting Zora again, but it is more like a, a nice nod that we should acknowledge. But if we want to talk more likely, small creatures implying big monsters works for me because those Zamites that we saw, they could imply the real deal. Zamtrios, aka the blow up shark, could be coming back. And if so, I'd be very happy. It's a great monster. Cotton will be very happy too. Or the Delex, who we saw at the start of the fourth trailer, right? They're always in games with the Gen Moran, but I don't know if I want that. <laughs> but there you have it. Every monster and creature we know so far that I'm able to list and find. If I did miss any, please let me know in the comments, but hopefully I didn't. What's your favorite monster reveal from the new trailer then? I think I've got to go with my mud boy, the Almadron. It really does look like a mud bender, and I just thought the whole pillars of mud thing was really cool. Anyway though, I've been Hollow, you've been you, and I'll see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye